Well, before we get going here too far, I want to tell we've had so many people who say, I want to have a video from uh, for Dave Fee's show. I want to have a T-shirt. Uh, here's a phone number. You can call City Dump Productions at 441-3258, and uh, you can get a video. You can get a T-shirt. And uh, also, if you're interested in Stan's albums, uh, call 728-STAN, 728-STAN. Now, moving on, uh, Cairo's creativity expert, Dorothy Wilhelm, is here with Tom Froger uh, with valuable toys that might be in your attic. Hi, Dorothy. Hi there. Hi. This is Tom, this good fun? to meet you. Yeah, yeah, nice to have Tom, you. Tom has a wonderful store called the Lily Pad in, on Antique Row on Broadway in Tacoma. So, uh -huh. I, because I know everybody's going to gather up their toys and go and see him, do you know? Can you guess which ones of these toys are valuable and which aren't? I can't. I don't, this, I don't know. You know the marvelous <laughs> thing? These come from Tom's shop, and this came from my basement. Oh, really? You have yes. these things in your basement? I, I, you wouldn't believe what I have in my basement. <laughs> but, do you want to know, Dorothy, or not? <laughs> now look. For instance, for instance, I want to show you these hmm? two things. These are Ken. Did you realize this? No, I never had a Ken at all. Yeah. yeah, now, Tom, this one, one. one of these is valuable, right? Yep. And, and the, one, the one, it isn't. The, the one, one with the no, shirt? No. Mm, no. This one here? Now, why? That's the first Ken. That's right? the first Ken? Yeah. That's the first Ken. See, look at that. <laughs> oh, no, oh, he pulled down Ken's pants. <laughs> well, that's the way to tell. That's how you tell. No. Don't pull them yeah, down. Yeah. I'll that. take your word for it. How much is he worth? Uh, This one here, about $90, $100. And if I had the box he came in? Oh, uh, you're probably looking at about three or four hundred. Three or four oh, hundred. Yeah. If you had the box. You know, if we had you know, the box. Ken had plastic hair. Barbie had real hair. Yeah. But but, right. but this right. one, but yep. this one is not as valuable, right? Nope, that's a recent Barbie. Uh, yeah. This is a recent Barbie. Uh, I, about I'm, a three dollar <clears throat> Barbie. A three dollar Barbie. A three dollar oh, Barbie. Yeah. But probably, now this probably five dollars new. GI <laughs> Joe's good, isn't he? Yeah. Is oh, you got a GI Joe with the with the the Apollo suit. This or one's the, the victim of but many. It looks, but it looks like somebody battles. took a torch to his face here. So you so wouldn't. What would you give me for him, Tom? Oh, mm, sad shape. About twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I take it. But, but you, you take them. Yeah. But you have some. There's one over there in the box, mm -hmm. and they're reissuing them, aren't they? Uh, yeah, they're reissuing the large GI Joes because the the old ones have gone up in value. You know, I. So I, they came out with the large. Oh, I see. One remake. But you, you know? can assess people's toys, and if they bring them down to you, they'll. Uh, yeah. You yeah. can look at them and tell them what they're worth. Yeah, so pretty, much, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Were the toys. I'm gonna put my kid through college with these. For instance, pass over Darth Vader. Oh, Could Darth! You pass me, pass me. I'll Darth. Pass you Darth. Oh, oh I Tom just knocked over someone. Tom used to have a J. Was how like you? <laughs> Pat, he, yeah, we used to have a J.P. Patch's coat. What was it worth? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I think we got thirty-five, forty dollars worth. That's little better. Kids he could have done little, yeah, kids little kids coat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, what about these wonderful Star Wars figures? Oh, these are well, the space toys. You know, are really collectible now. This is about fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. See, I here. told you I'm going to get the kids through college. Mm -hmm. Sure, on you these. can, and you've got you've got uh, all this other equipment. And what about blocks, things like that? Well, see, that... she bought all her toys and kept them for herself. <laughs> I did oh. do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, how can people know? I'm just going to stand here and hold him. How can people know? What about the battery-operated things that were mm -hmm. very popular in the fifties? And the fifties and sixties. We, we just about have enough time yet. to demonstrate one yeah. of them. Let's yeah. take a look at that. This is a Frankenstein, mm -hmm. but they take a look at this. This is very yeah. important. Watch what happens. Yeah, keep your eye on Frankenstein. This is <laughs> first flashing to toy. This. What's this worth? Uh, about 150. 150 dollars. Oh, he lost his pants. <laughs> if you had the box, it'd be about 350. Yeah, if they're in good condition, that's even better. Like this much has got better. the box with it, see? Oh, that yeah. makes it more yeah. valuable. This even that here? little metal lunch box is worth about five dollars. Oh yeah, the bartender. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine so, a kid playing with a little bartender. Mixing your drinks well, there. Apparently they did. But anyway, yeah. the big thing is keep the box, keep them in good condition. Like if you've got them. Now watch his ears because the oh. they smoke. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at those ears are smoking. Sure. He's, <laughs> he's so tired from mixing drinks. That was drinks. a strong drink. <laughs> yeah. We we can find Tom. Well, this is at the Lily Pad in Tacoma. Right. All right. right. Thank you very much for, you, for being with us. And Saturday morning they can hear your program. At, they certainly can. 10 yeah. to 12. Would you like to hold Darth? Yeah, I'll hold Darth. Okay. Hey, <laughs> thank, you, thank you both for being here. I have to tell them it's time for Grammys. We have a, This is your last chance to play our Grammy contest. Tomorrow we're going to select the winner out of a hat and send them to the Grammys. So call her 7 through 10. Call these phone numbers right now and, uh, and get on to that because we'll have the trivia questions after these words. All right. JP, the gang, Stan, Brakeman, Bill, Gertrude, they're all here. Stay with us. Time to get the ball rolling and bring you the Pillsbury Bake Off Contest. Now let's see what's cooking. <laughs> Someone's in the kitchen with a shaper. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with a shaper. Oh, thank you, Stan. Yes, we're here. This is a big deal. Stephanie Holt is here direct from the Pillsbury Bake Off. Uh, we were here on January 31st. 
because you were just leaving, you gave you had a secret recipe you'd sent in, and they said, come to the National Bake Off. That's right. And you couldn't tell what it was, tell us what it was. Right, until now. Until right, right now. Right now. Now, you didn't win the National, but what did, first of all, we'll talk about that in a minute, but what did you make that was? Uh, uh, cheesy Cajun rice with chicken. Oh, cheesy Cajun rice with chicken. Mm. Let's try it. Mm. JP, have, go ahead okay. and have a little. Now, I'll tell you something. You really impressed us when you were here the last time. I did, huh? Mmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, spicy. Yes, it is. Yeah, I like it. It's got kind of pepper in it. But because you represented us, uh, you represented Washington State in the Pillsbury Bake Off, we felt you were very special to us. And so we have a prize for you. Oh, We wow. have a prize wow. for you. You are a winner to us. Oh, so look wow. Thank look at you. JP. We have, we're going to give you... Oh, how cool. Yes, we're going to give you... This is all Pillsbury products. And look at, at Jennifer and Sharon. Everybody put this together for you. Uh, Did lots my of husband know about this? No, no, your husband doesn't know anything <laughs> about this. And look at this little metal here. This is from the Sorrento Hotel, who is also going to give you dinner and an oh, evening wow. overnight at the Sorrento. Thank you. Yes. And they oh, have us. Cool. Let me tell you why they why they helped us out. We went to Eileen Mintz at Sorrento and said, "Would you please? Is there anything you can do?" And they said, "Yes," because as a part of uh, their Reach for the Gold promotion, they're they're doing this weekend. Uh, they, if you go to the Sorrento and stay overnight this weekend, then they have these nine envelopes. It could be nine different prizes in there, from from gold jewelry to wine oh, really? and all kinds of things. Yes. Yeah, so oh, you mean you're going to go if she and enjoy shows yourself. them this cookie, she can spend the night. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't. No. Oh no. 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 Oh. Don't take that. This belongs to Stephanie. Thank you for representing. Thank it's you the Bill so Bill's Bill's Bill Bake Off, and everyone Bill, will Bill eat your McLean food. Bill said, make sure it isn't Fisher flour in here. It's not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll be that, back that Bill with our that. Grammy contest next. When it's springtime up in Sitka, I'm heading out to sea. I well, here we are, uh, Stan Morrison serenading us. Yes, I now, can be. Thank you very much, Stan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kevin, are you on line one with us? Uh, yeah. I'm Hi, here. Kevin. Here's your question. Uh, 1987 Best Recording for Children was narrated by A, J.P. Patches, uh, B, Jack Nicholson, or C, Barney. Uh, I have to go and see for Barney. Oh, no, it was Jack Nicholson. Gee, thanks a oh, lot. Oh, sorry, Lori. but we have a consolation prize for you. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Lori, uh, you're on line eight. Here's, uh, here's yours. Hi, Lori. Hi, how are you? Very good. Uh, here it is. Title of a children's movie and Grammy-winning song. Was it Old Yeller? Was it Beauty and the Beast? Or was it Flubber? Beauty and the Beast. Yes, you're right. You're going to be in our running. Uh, tomorrow we're going to draw the grand prize winner. Great. Okay, TJ, are you on line nine? Yeah. Hi, TJ. Here's your question. Grammy-winning country song written by a children's author. Was it a boy named Sue? Was it a boy named Brakeman Bill? Or was it Me So Country? Uh, a boy named Sue? Yeah, that's the one. All right. You're in the running. Thanks, All right. Jose. All right, now we're going to go to Steve on line nine. Steve, you're the final person that can get in on this contest. Okay. All right. Won a polka Grammy last year. Was it Stan Borison? Certainly. Was it the Ballard Deers? Or was it Jimmy Stir? Oh, Stan. Oh. No, we wanted it to be Stan, but it was Jimmy Stir. Oh. But thank you very much for, for playing with us. He should have won. That's yeah. what he should have won. Yeah, he should have won. All right, we have to take a short commercial break, but we'll be back. Stay with us, folks. Okay.